We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. lovely day and I'm out in the potager and I'm going to create two new beds or start the process of creating two new beds. We've got three main beds there and then we've got another bed against the wall over there but we want to create two longer beds and I've got a lot of soil in in this part behind the camera I'll show you in a sec. Um, when we dug up the courtyard in our first summer there was a fair bit of uh, excess soil and stuff so we dumped it in here but it's not serving any purpose and it's stopping us from um, putting any planting against that wall so I'm gonna start by moving it from there to here to start the process of making these beds and hopefully I can do it um, I've got my shovel but I've got to be a bit careful so I'm gonna hopefully start that now and what I'll do is place some cardboard over the top and then if you remember before Christmas um, we were in the barn and we discovered that we've got a good six to eight inches of uh, mulch down soil and leaves and whatever I'll then put that on top of the cardboard uh, that should then suppress any weeds the problem I've got I haven't got that, <laughs> that much cardboard so I'm gonna have to go rooting some out uh, I, I might try the local restaurants in the village see if they've got any in their skips or I can go to the Deschettery because they'll actually let you take stuff as well. But anyway, that's for another day. What I need to do is move this soil. So I'll just show you the piles that I'm talking about. So there's the beds just here, but you probably can't tell because they're just overgrown with weeds at the moment, but that's okay. But along this back wall, uh, we've been growing some veggies up there and tomatoes we had uh, late um, in the autumn, funny enough. But I want to grow against this wall as well, but I've got these piles here. Um, and this is just the soil left over from the courtyard. There will be some rocks in there, so I'll try and um, clear those out. But I'm going to try and move them, and then what I'm going to do, where this... Um, mound is here i've just put that there that'll be the corner of the first bed and so i'm going to create two beds running down with a gap in between of about a meter or so so i can get the lawnmower in here so that's today's task
Well, that's a good productive start. Um, pleased with that. I wasn't sure how much of it I'd get done. And uh, as you can see, these two beds now going in line with each other. Nice long beds. I may split them into shorter beds, but I think at the moment we're quite happy with just two long beds there. And these big soil piles, they've come down a lot. Uh, I can level a lot of those off. There's a bit at the end there, so I'll probably uh, carry on and uh, get rid of all that onto these beds. Um, and then level that and then we've got a nice long stretch uh, to plant against the wall there and this wall is south facing so the sun is behind the camera all day so we've got to be careful what we plant there it's got to be tolerant of the heat but it's a nice long stretch actually I'm, in, I'm just going down right into the far corner by the perimeter wall so this is how far away um, so basically where the well is right up there in that corner there where that fence is that's 45 meters from here and i forget the width of the the actual uh, where we fenced off but uh i suspect that's about six or seven meters probably seven or eight actually uh so eight times 45 whatever that is so it's a it's a big area there's only the two of us plus a few guests and friends and whatever so it'll it'll more than suffice and of course uh if we do run out of room, <laughs> we've got a rather large wall garden to expand into. So I'm pleased with that. Well, I'm pleased I've done that. Uh, it's a lovely day today, really cold, but really sunny and crisp and perfect day. You know, come out here and uh, it, it got very warm very quick. So, but I'm pleased I've done that. It feels good for the soul and very positive it's you know the the potager was our number one disappointment last year but uh, this year yeah the fight back has begun so we're really pleased with that and uh, yeah it's good for the soul um, I'm just cleaning this fridge out it's one we bought with us from the UK <clears throat> when we sold our house our big American fridge freezer decided to pack up and we thought that's all right we won't buy another one until we move and then we had Covid and lockdown and we we were only eating fresh food and the supermarkets were getting sold out of stuff so we went online to get a fridge freezer all sold out but we managed to eventually get this this one with the fridge freezer and we thought well that'll do as a stopgap and we moved in here and we were left this fridge which i'm not going to open the door because um the other night i opened it and the door fell off the handle's already come off but it's been quite handy as an overflow fridge because this isn't very big and it's that's quite handy for keeping bottles in um, but the problem is this got damaged um, when it was moved um, a couple of the shelves are broken, so they're, they're kind of balancing. And the thermostat seems to have gone because it's freezing up inside. Um, I've emptied out all this, but it's frozen up. So I've got to try and get these shelves out to defrost them.
right, that's that spraying. That should kill off any last of the moss. I don't know how long it takes. Um, however long it takes, a few days I assume. And what we'll do then is we'll just clean off the rest of it. And then, uh, good to go. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just going to leave the ice up. Well, I didn't think I had much cardboard, but uh, I think I'm a little bit short, so I need to go and find some. <laughs> a long way to go. <laughs> this, this shelf's broken at each end here, so it's balancing and it's got a bit of fatigue there, which isn't very good considering it's not very old. But that these bits got broken in transit, I think. You have to keep the heavy stuff on that side. So I've got to try and get these shelves out. Um, hopefully they'll thaw out a bit, but um, I think we'll have to move it. I've got to leave it off for a while because the gases have to settle. So I need to get the frozen stuff back in there as quickly as possible, really.
Over the last couple of days or so, I've been collecting uh, a lot of moss uh, from roofs, from steps and from walls, etc. Um, but moss has a use and uh, I'm going, going around all our fruit trees, um, strewing the grass away and then putting the moss down around the base, which during the summer will help uh, retain moisture and it stops the grass from growing around the tree. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going up this uh, row of fruit trees and um, setting them up for uh, the summer. These are really looking good. There's lots of new shoots on all of them, uh, which is really good news. Uh, it was so dry last summer, we had to help them along by watering them. This is only gonna be their third year. So uh, yeah, they're okay, doing very well. And this one's grown quite big actually, bigger than the others, which is great because it's been planted here. So it hides that house or the view of it, just takes your eye off it and likewise the one behind and these two. So uh, yeah, lots of new fresh growth on here, fresh buds. So yeah, might get some fruit this year. Well, two more and I'm done. And they're all prepped up, ready for the summer ahead. And I'd like to say a big, big thank you to Sharon, uh, Debs and Paul and somebody who wanted to remain anonymous uh, for buying us some coffees this week so thank you that's very kind and big thank you to Monique who's joined us on Patreon this week so hello Monique and uh, look out for a vlog very soon on the Patreon account uh, it'll be there probably tomorrow um, something very interesting and exciting so look out for that right I'm going to get on with it and uh, get these two done because it's getting a bit nippy out here and it's getting fairly late in the day. And uh, thank you to all of you who watched. And if you'd be so kind, if you haven't already subscribed, can you just press the subscribe button and the notification bell? It helps us enormously. It really does. It's all to do with YouTube and their algorithms. So uh, if you could press that subscribe button, we'd be forever grateful. Thank you.